anyway here, what we're going to do, oh boy, <laughs> it's uh, April 4th, oh, I'm going to soak my bones, I got a picture of the blaming on Russia beer, we're going to give that a sample, see what this tastes like, I'll pour it heavy, got a nice head, a big head. I guess I poured it too heavy. <laughs> Let that run over there. She'll dissipate quick. You get a smell on there and whatnot. The wife's going to get a picture, taste with her glass here. She'll probably pour it more gently or something. I didn't tilt the glass the wrong way and stuff. I didn't tilt the glass. So we're definitely carbonated after uh, 10. 10 or 11 days, I lost count. So it's going to be a little cloudy. First picture for sure. Nice head. Oh, she smells clean. She smells uh, floral, real florally. I'm going to let the head settle down a little bit more, and then I'll get a taste test on this. All right, we gave it a minute here. It's a pretty thick uh, two, two finger head, maybe three finger head. Depends how big how big your fingers are. If you got those sausage fingers, it'd be two fingers. How you doing? <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> so here's how. Uh, I can't. I don't get much because I got too much foam there. So I'll get a taste test first. On the, I can't get the smell. Oh, that's got a lot of hop. Oh, I knew it was gonna come out hoppy. Wow. Wow. She got a real real bitterness to it. Nice nice smell. I'm not good at reviewing, you guys know that. She got a nice smell to it. Don't stink. If that's any good. Got a good hop to it, that, that uh, Cascade hop I use, six ounces. That's shining right through here like crazy. Almost on a level of an IPA with the bitterness. It's a drinkable beer. And if it's not, you blame it on Russia. <laughs> How you doing? Not bad. Definitely worth growing your own hops just for that beer. So I'm uh, I'm lowering the bitterness here from my Cascade hops, six ounces. I don't know what the IBUs are. I'm not getting the taste of cinnamon, or I'm not getting the taste of apple. And I know I put a can of apple uh, juice in here, and that's just being blown away by the taste of the hops. It's uh, you'd swear it's an IPA just because it got hit heavy with six ounces of uh, leaf hops. All right, we'll finish that one. That cake will go. And my next brew, hopefully, is going to be a cherry wheat. I'm hoping to get at that soon. That's a reverse tilt on the glass. I pour it on the back side. Keep the head down there. Coming out of the pitcher, I don't have to tilt, spill it all over the table. Why don't I? But I pour it on the back side. It's the same as tilt in the glass. So yeah, we're going to get out with the soaking in the tub here and uh, relaxing and having a couple cold beers. Why would I?